You know, to, to be completely honest, there was so much that could have stopped us from getting here. You know, the, the difficulties were just overwhelming, but the only thing that was more overwhelming was the persistence of this team. In order to tackle the issue with their first test flight, the team spent a full 14 hours to rebuild their vehicle overnight. It's a pretty high pressure environment to work in. Uh, this cabin is tight quarters. It's kind of a plywood shack. They've got a great workshop area set up where they're doing some last minute uh, hacks and repairs, but they're handling it really well. We turned on the copter and looked at the signal and said, could not take off. And so we knew at that point, we really had to get our heads down and work on troubleshooting the problem and figuring out how to fix it because you know, we were out there and we were gonna, we were gonna do this mission. And that's the benefit of being an engineer. You can take everything apart and figure out what's going where and how to fix it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just coat this white with our non-conductive um, sealant. So like for example, we'll basically just attach a Kapton heater directly to the Pi. So uh, we're going to do one more update. We're going to take the SD card, which is rated for normal temperatures, and we're going to go extreme. So we're going <laughs> <laughs> to go extreme. So we're going to pour it here, ready for the cold. So this project has been really exciting because it's like two nerd forces coming together. We've got science nerds who are super excited about studying the environment. We've got engineering nerds who are really excited about building new hardware. And where we've come together in this collaboration is bringing those two passions and those two interests together. And it really has, has made a great dynamic. Bingo. Bingo, bingo. Yeah. Fun connector. Uh, so we did our first test where we come into our assistant app and we can do a motor test. So we click on M1 to see and it spins. Everything's groovy. And just to show that we didn't mess with anything else in the system, there's M3, oh. that was bad. And then M2 works perfectly. And then nice. I'm gonna try M6 as well. M6 is good. Cool. Let's try that one. The hexacopter rebuilt and ready for the elements, the team is prepared for their first flight mission. But intense Arctic winds and temperatures keep them grounded once more. Today's a down day. So it'll most likely just be hunkering down for the next day or two. So when I was a kid, as most kids, when they learn about science for the first time, they're like, oh, I want to be like a marine biologist, I want to be a biologist or something. The second thing you discover is computers, and then you start playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. And now I can bring Roller Coaster Tycoon to pretend to be a biologist in a cabin in the woods. And uh, it's just pretty awesome. Being in a cabin, you don't really have access to the running water or anything to clean your dishes. But luckily, we're right next to a frozen lake. So you're just standing in the middle of the dark, and it's just you chopping ice. You might wonder why our cabin looks like the smoke after a rock concert. Because uh, Dr. Pilfold here likes to... <laughs> Make a smoky steak. Nuke his steak. <laughs> so right now, it's ideal. The conditions are perfect. The wind is calm. It's a little cold, but nothing too bad and the ice is there so it's just ideal for us to get going and collect the right data for conservation. We are going out on the ice. It's gonna be awesome. We're using Victor here as our test to see if the ice is stable for all of us. So yeah, so uh, we, we are flying in, in the Arctic environment and uh, it, it's, as a pilot, it's been really amazing to kind of have this experience. At the same time, of course, I was uh, trying to keep it together, trying to keep it as, as uh, professional as I can about you know, uh, making sure that the aircraft flies safely. Three, two. It really puts it in perspective. The places like this are few or far between in the world. Uh, our work is here to protect it. Really happy to be here and have this opportunity. With the first flight mission underway, both the engineers from Northrop Grumman and the team from San Diego Zoo Global are excited for what this means for conservation research. <laughs>